After 10 years of Sega pumping out dog shit products, we have a Sonic game that actually shows promise. Just like you guys, I'm hyped for Sonic Frontiers because I truly believe that this is going to be a great experience. There are just a few things about it that grind my gears, specifically with the cyberspace levels. First of all, I've noticed something sussy with sussy. some of the stages, specifically Chemical Plant. If you're an epic Sonic gamer like me, you can tell that this is literally the exact same level as in Sonic Generation. Bruh. Besides that, most of the levels just look a little bland. To prove my argument, let's compare this Green Hill stage to the version from Generations. I know they say not to compare your child to other children, but I don't give a fuck. Damn. In Sonic Generations, you start off with this ramp that shoots you up into the air, and you can see a big gap that you can boost over quickly. Or if you suck, you'll fall and lose a lot of time. Yeah. And if you're an ultra alpha chat gamer, you can even go for this collectible. In Sonic Frontiers there are these three platforms with rings on them. To get the collectible, you just walk into this ramp. And you can avoid all this by simply walking through the middle. In Sonic Generations you have to jump, slide and run from this giant fish that tries to eat you and it's all really fast. In Sonic Frontiers, you just attack these enemies go through a loop and then it just ends. This level just feels a little underwhelming. There's barely anything going on, but that's just one stage. There are others that look way more promising like Sky Sanctuary. It starts off with the set of rings that if you jump into them at the right time, you can skip a big chunk of the level. Then we see a bunch of different pathways, with the highest one being the hardest to get to, but also the fastest one. So you get rewarded for your skill. That's what I'm talking about, Sonic Frontiers. I'm proud, but it still doesn't look that great. There isn't much variety in the environment. In Sonic Generations version of this level, you'd run through buildings, jump on clouds and explore all these other cool locations. There's nothing like that in Sonic Frontiers. And it doesn't help that it's only one minute what? long. On the positive side, there's one cyberspace level that stands out this city level. It looks so big and open with so many different pathways. That's what I call level design. But let's stop talking about the stages themselves, because I think there is a bigger problem that we've been ignoring. The sense of speed. Sonic Frontiers just feels slower than the other boost games. And I feel like that's partially because the camera isn't zoomed in as much. But it's mostly because there's no... Momentum. Yeah, I said the M word without shame. Whenever Sonic stops boosting, he instantly loses all his speed. In the previous games, your speed would gradually decrease and it felt very natural. In Frontiers, it just looks stiff. But who knows, maybe Maybe they'll fix this. In conclusion, most cyberspace levels look pretty good, but they're far from great. I just missed the old boost levels. Those felt more like a whole adventure, but I'm sure Sonic Frontiers will still be a banger game and make me happy. But you know what else makes me happy? Likes and subscribes with notifications on. So if you give me all of that, I will love you unconditionally.